Hi, this is Dr. Kevin Smith. Thank you very much for checking out this video on hidden secret number six of why you still suffer with low thyroid symptoms even if you're taking thyroid replacement hormone and even if your lab tests are normal. The, the, the hidden secret is due to autoimmune attack on TPO or thyroid peroxidase in your thyroid gland. I call it hidden because most doctors don't check for it and so it remains undiagnosed. When you go to a medical doctor, whether it's an endocrinologist or a primary care physician, they're going to check your TSH levels and they may check your T4 levels and if you press them hard enough, maybe they'll order a T3 test and that's about it. They, they either don't know about this other stuff or they just don't, it's not part of their training, it's not part of their paradigm of what they do to try to help people. So what's going on with this is there's an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's autoimmune thyroiditis. And with Hashimoto's disease, what's going on is that your body's immune system is actually attacking, it's actually turning on, your, on itself, it's, it's attacking your own structures. And there's a lot of different types of autoimmune problems. For example, you may have heard of rheumatoid arthritis and you may have seen elderly people with their knuckles all knurled up and that's an autoimmune attack on the synovial joints. Well, there's different types of autoimmune conditions and the one that attacks the thyroid gland is a condition called Hashimoto's. This condition is when the body's immune system attacks the thyroid gland, destroying the gland and inhibiting its ability to function. Now, when your pituitary gland sends TSH or thyroid stimulating hormone to your thyroid gland, it sends a signal to produce thyroid hormone, T4 and T3. And the thyroid gland uses a couple of basic building blocks in order to accomplish this. One is tyrosine, one is iodine, and one is called thyroid peroxidase. And thyroid peroxidase is an enzyme that the thyroid gland needs to make thyroid hormone. If you inhibit or destroy any of these basic building blocks, you can't make thyroid hormone. It's just as simple as that. It's like if you wanted to make a brick wall and you took away the bricks and the mortar, you can't make your wall. So thyroid peroxidase is under attack during Hashimoto's. And there's a very easy way to test for this, to see if you have this problem. And it's a, uh, a blood test where we take one vial of blood and we check for TPO antibodies. If you have TPO antibodies that exceed a certain reference range, then you are positive for Hashimoto's disease and you've got an autoimmune problem that has to be dealt with. Simply taking uh, levothyroxine, Synthroid, Cytomel, Armor, whatever meds that they have, none of those are going to actually address the problem, which as I said is an autoimmune attack on your body. So. The, the hidden secret here, the takeaway is that it's an autoimmune attack on TPO, which limits your ability to make thyroid hormone. Now, if you, the, what causes this? Well, it's, it's, Hashimoto's is largely a genetic problem and it can be turned on at any time in somebody's life. Uh, sometimes it's due to perimenopause or due to pregnancy or due to puberty or sometimes a tra traumatic effect like a car accident. It's anybody's guess. But the thing is, according to the research, 70 to 90% of the people that have hypothyroidism or low thyroid, it's caused by Hashimoto's. And what's a real mystery is why medical doctors don't check for it. But the simple fact is that they don't, so it remains a hidden cause. So what's important for you to do is to at least go to a doctor that knows to check for this, knows how to interpret it and using a functional model, not just the lab model, but a functional model to be able to identify the problem and then to be able to neutralize or remove what's driving the problem in the first place. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please tell a friend if you know anybody that's suffering with low thyroid symptoms, they could benefit from this information. So tell them about us. And if you have any questions or you'd like to talk to me about this problem, please communicate with me through my website at integratedmetabolic.com. And I'd love to hear from you. So please send me some feedback or if you have any questions, love to hear from you. Uh, thank you again for checking out this video.